the Toronto Raptors were the only team in the NBA that did not have a chance to play in front of their home crowd. The Raptors ended up playing in Tampa Bay, Florida for the whole season. There is no way that anybody could have predicted that the Raptors would finish 18 games under 500 and finish last in their division. But their reward for a tough season is the fourth overall pick. The last time the Raptors picked in the top five was 2011 when they selected Jonas Valanciunas fifth overall. It's expected that longtime point guard Kyle Lowry won't be back with the team, especially after it looked like a foregone conclusion he would be traded before the trade deadline. The Raptors could look at guard with this pick. With the fourth pick in the draft, the Toronto Raptors select Jalen Suggs from Gonzaga University. Suggs is a combo guard who is a legit 3 and D player as soon as he steps on the court as a rookie. His basketball IQ is off the charts as he has a great understanding of the game for a young guard. Suggs has the ability to score off the dribble, score in the paint, and run an offense. He can put a ton of pressure on the defense with his transition game and open court ability. He plays with high intensity and competitive fire and is a true leader on the court. Plays tenacious defense and is very active on the defensive end. He simply plays to win the game. What better prospect to replace Kyle Lowry than Jalen Suds? With the 46th pick in the draft, the Toronto Raptors select Marcus Bagley from Arizona State University. Some NBA scouts believe that Bagley is a first round talent with a lot of upside. The reason why he might not go in the first round is because he suffered an injury and only played 12 games. And he was inconsistent in the games he played. Physically, Bagley has everything you need to be able to make an impact in the NBA. He's an athletic forward who is 6'8", 215 pounds with a 6'11 wingspan. Marvin Bagley's younger brother showed a lot of potential as a 3 and D player. He shot 35% from three-point range, which is solid, and he also averaged six three-point attempts per game. As a defensive player, he really gets after it, and he plays with a lot of energy and effort on that end. With that mindset to go along with his physical gifts, he should develop into an above-average defender in the NBA. This is no doubt an upside pick for the Raptors. Bagley probably won't pay dividends for you immediately. He is still raw for the most part, and needs more reps and experience before he's ready to get minutes in the NBA. Bagley has G League written all over him. With the 47th pick in the draft, the Toronto Raptors select Philip Petrushev from Serbia and from Gonzaga University. After playing at Gonzaga for two seasons, Petrushev decided to leave college basketball and play overseas in Serbia. He left Gonzaga as a promising young offensive big man, and he only got better and better. Protrusive won league MVP of his league as he averaged around 24 points and 7 rebounds, shooting 58% from the field and a surprisingly 42% from three. Protrusive wasn't a very good three-point shooter with Gonzaga, but that just showed you how much work he put in within the last year. Protrusive is one of the best low post scorers in the class, shows great footwork, can turn around both shoulders, and can finish from mid-range. He is a high IQ guy and can find an open man as a passer. Protrusive is a good but not great athlete, and he could struggle on defense in the NBA initially. Adding more muscle and getting stronger will be the key for him to become a solid defender in the future. The center position was the Raptors' biggest weakness last season. Adding more talent at that position is a must. Protrusive is capable enough right now to be in the rotation as a backup in his rookie season. 